So I'm here with Mike, and I just um, we're we we're talking about why I personally dislike yogurt, dairy yogurt, or um, Greek yogurt, and that stuff. And personally, I would just like to share that there are so many other alternatives to yogurt. There's coconut yogurt, almond yogurt. Um, you can find them anywhere, like Whole Foods or a health food store. And you can even make your own coconut yogurt. It's amazing. It's really fun to get creative in the kitchen. But yogurt is pushed as a health food. It's just like after your workout, before you work out, have a yogurt, have a Greek yogurt. Dr. Oz loves Greek yogurt. But it's funny because there are certain chemicals in yogurt that actually induce weight gain. And they are super carcinogenic. So when you're looking for this awesome, like, uh, protein or food or just like a nice snack before or after a workout. They have a little protein shake, like a raffalona shake or a green juice or, you know, a coconut yogurt even. Um, okay, cut. <laughs> The byproduct of a terrible industry, you know. So, are you videotaping? <laughs> <laughs> and then they're just describing all this stuff, and they're like, "Hey, let's find a way to make money on whey protein, you know, on whey and sell this protein." When it's garbage, it's nothing. It's so terrible for you. I call it, I call it protein belly. Protein what? Protein belly. You know, the people belly. that eat, do a lot of protein, they always have big belly. I'm working on mine right now. <laughs> you know, I, I'm on a special diet, protein yeah, belly. Yeah. This, this health food store over in um, it's in between Fairway and Ewells. It's like, let's well, get healthy America. So we go in there and you know, we're checking things out. And she's like, well, I don't want you to think this is a health food store. This is a diet store. And I was like, the name of your store is Get Healthy America. They sell Crystal Light. They sell like all these aspartame written stuff. And they're like, yeah, we're people think we're a health food store and like an organic food store, but we really just focus on diet and you know, Atkins things. I'm like, Oh, what is going on? No one's going to get healthy that way. Crystal light? What is this, the 90s? This is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Out of control. So I'm here at Live Island Cafe with Mike, and we're talking about yogurt and how much I hate yogurt. <laughs> when, I was, when I was young, I had insane asthma. Like My asthma was so bad, I would miss school all the time. The only thing I could eat, my mom said, was jello while I was sick. And the only reason I liked jello is because she would put cool lip on it. So once in a while when I was sick, she put cool lip on it. I would be out of school for a whole nother week when she put cool lip on my yogurt. Because it's... <laughs> this is really true. and This is so true. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is yogurt's awful. It's completely cancer-causing. If you notice, there's this whole thing going on now where um, different brands are advertising like breast cancer awareness on the yogurt containers. What is that? What is that? <laughs> yogurt causes cancer, and they're trying to join forces and override all of our knowledge and opinion and, and our health, and it's just awful. So anyway, what else am I saying? Yeah, you should cut right there. Yeah, you should cut right there. <laughs> 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 I'm gluten-free. I don't care for gluten-free. It's no. that shitty milk. No, I can't do it on camera, but it's like how I feel. It's ridiculous. How can you be gluten free and have like trans fat, saturated fat, cheese, eggs, and like and like potato starch in there? Who cares if you're gluten free? You're still Doritos, you know? Yeah. Free of health. That's what they should call it. Free of health. <laughs> yeah. Free of health. <laughs> they call it gluten free belly. <laughs> the soil's depleted. Is anyone paying attention? The soil's depleted. <laughs> Talk about it. Don't get me to talk about it. Magnesium is super important. The soil has been depleted of it for over 30 years. And the only place you can really get magnesium now is from the sea. So you want to be going out of your way to eat a lot of like sea veggies or we're just like getting amazing magnesium supplements that aren't manufactured and chemical and like super bioavailable to your body. And it's used for over 300 bodily functions. So you know it's very well by now. But it's like headaches, migraines. When you have a heart attack. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. When you have a heart attack, actually. It's a very often it's a result of calcification in your arteries. And very often you go to the hospital with a heart attack and they inject you in the heart with magnesium and it opens up your your valve. So why wouldn't we be taking that every day just to keep the balance? Because we are very acidic, we are very calcified, we are very like this. So you want to take magnesium, you want to open it up, you want to open up your heart, you want to have raw cacao, you know? Thank you everybody. It's weird. If they inject it in, into your heart when you're having a heart attack, doesn't that mean they know about it? 
they know about it. Actually, in the 50s, every, like, I think this stopped in the 50s or like early 60s. Every time you went to the hospital, you would get an enema. You would come in with whatever it was, a tone infection, you come in, you get an enema. Because that is like known as like the toxic place. Like, you want to clean all the toxins and then let's figure out what's going on. Not now. Like, it would be a bad drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs>